Hello, beautiful. Today, we're watching people cut. Please, Saya. Please. Please. I haven't even got past the first sentence of the video. Baby, I need to film. Please, I'm trying to slay right now, and you're not letting me slay. Today, we're watching people cut their micro bangs. Oh, 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 baby. I love a good micro bang. The shorter, the better. Actually, sometimes they're a bit short. And I'm like, did you mean to go that short? Or <laughs> what's going on here? But nevertheless, they do look sickening when they're done right. Let's see if these people can accomplish cutting their own micro bangs at home and not completely ruining them. All right, I'll let you see my eyes today. Only because the blue eyes are bluing and the eyes are eyeing. And I'm slaying. Do you wanna dance, baby? Can I just tell you, I know most of you wear your one arm thingies all the time. I have to tell you, it takes a little getting used to. Having one arm exposed, it feels so vulnerable. Like two arms out at the same time, no problem. One arm? Oh my God, am I naked or is my arm out? Up first, we have a video by Hellish. Do you ever just think I've got a fat head and having shorter bangs would make them better? Cause me too. Actually, I've never thought about that. However, if that is your situation, then I think bangs are a great, Bangs are a great way of making your face shorter, skinnier, cuter, and listen, I love a good bang. I am going to cut micro bangs. I've done this before. I also think she has the perfect style for a baby bang. Like she, mm, a punky girl with a baby bang. There is nothing in this world that makes me happier. Okay, so luckily she already has them sectioned out. She already has a bang, and so the, she already... <laughs> Please, Brad. I'm glad that she already has the section done, and the section looks good. She has really thick hair, which is always great for a micro bang. I love a good full, like, straight ass mother line across the head. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it looks like she has a good little rounded moment, not a V, but she has more of a rounded moment going on. It goes back generously far to make the bangs look nice and thick. I'm wondering how short she's gonna go. I have really bad cowlicks. So I should stop doing this to myself. Okay, so I have a wrinkle, my forehead, this one. It's usually where I like them. So I think that's what we're gonna go for. Let's see if I can get my cowlick out of there. Okay, for this cut, I would definitely recommend you styling your hair the way you're actually going to wear it when you have the baby bangs. In this case, I wouldn't recommend wetting it, which she isn't, but I think it's a great idea that she is trying to get all those calyx out. She's trying to get her hair nice and straightened in place and exactly how she would wear it. Because otherwise, if you cut it wet and then you dry it, you're gonna possibly have a completely different look and it's gonna be a lot shorter. So cut it dry. Do you ever worry about something being a bad idea? You should just do it. Just live your life and just like, <sighs> oh, it doesn't matter. Oh God, there's <laughs> what the fuck was that? Where did that go? What happened, girl? Okay, let's not put tension on the hair while we cut a baby bang, all right? We comb and we cut with natural tension. We don't clamp and pull down because you're gonna get this hair, whoop, popping back up like she is. This isn't looking too good. Oh God, I made a mistake. It's a little bit shorter than my wrinkle, but that's okay. It's a little short. It's a micro bang though. This might be a micro mini bang, however. <laughs> Girl, there is little f Guys, I'm sorry, but the thing about having long hair that I can't handle is having all these little stray hairs all over my body at all times. I just, I can't handle it. Just stop, stop shedding. There's literally so much hair on my eyes, I can't even describe to you. I've done this before. Okay, would definitely also recommend that she wets her hair at this point and blow dries the hair side to side to get really flat to her head. And then this iron is like bigger than your bangs. We either need a tiny ass brown brush or a tiny flat iron to make this look appropriate. Oh, this is so short. Maybe if I get them wet and blow dry them down, that would be better. Yes, see? That's what I was talking about. So now that they're wet, hopefully I can cut them straight. <laughs> 
and then we will blow dry them. I don't want her to do this because then she's gonna blow dry it and it's all gonna be crooked and the way her hair is wet is not gonna be the same as it is dry. And you know, if all else fails, I'm probably not going to see anyone until May. They're probably dry enough. Oh my god, they look cute! Wait, they kind of do look cute. It's kind of coming together. Is it a look or is it not? I don't know. Um, let's see if we can get this straightener in there. Ah, ah, oh my god. What a wild ride. That took all of like two seconds. Obviously not really. It took like five minutes, but nice. Okay, that's it. Wait, it actually came together great. I think this length is dope on you. My only critique, and this is not even a critique, I would love if you just had like one little sliver of like a long piece in the middle of your bang. Like kind of like a triangle piece. That's just what I'm feeling like right now. The micro bangs are sick on you. You did an actually great job. Honestly, somehow you made that work. I don't know how you just did that so quickly and so effectively. Pops. You! Up next, we have a video by Poser Grave. Welcome to Dumb Idiot Hours. Who wants to watch me ruin my life? We want to watch you ruin your hair, maybe. <laughs> your life? Girl, that's up to you. And you only. I don't want to influence your, your life being ruined. I have kind of a small forehead, and I don't think bangs are necessarily ideal for me. But, uh... That being said, YOLO though. I've been like debating this for like low-key years because some people just look so cute with bangs. I think she's definitely right. She has a small forehead. I think a micro bang would look fantastic on her though. I think a micro bang looks great on anybody. It's so, like, what, a, what the fuck am I? What am I do, do? You know what I mean? Like I'm not really giving anything right now because I think we're like, we're good on every mic. Mm -hmm. I don't know guys. It's just like my arms out. I can't. I can't handle it. I don't actually have hair scissors, but I do have nail scissors. That's what I usually use to cut my hair and it's worked fine so far. I've never done it for bangs, but I mean, I think it's gonna be okay. I will take nail scissors over a kitchen or craft scissor. I will. That is something that I will take. Seems sharper. I will say though, her sectioning looks good. I think she went bark. <laughs> bark. It's, it's br back. She did do like a good boom from here to there. Looks great. I think that's a great sectioning for her and will really like make her face look so snatched. When the longer hair is on the sides and the shorter bits are like that, it's just gonna really frame her face like a beautiful picture frame. Oh my God, you guys, let's start like this. All right. <laughs> We're starting long, okay? Cause I don't wanna go too far too fast. That's still pretty long. In fact, like, I could quit now and everything would still be fine actually. If I wanted to back out, I would just have some like super short layers. No, we're gonna keep going though. They're just bangs, you guys. It's really like not a thing. They're gonna grow out, you know? See, that's where people are mistaken. It is just a bang. The thing with a micro bang especially is that they take forever to grow back out. Like a good few years. <laughs> I'm trying to like cut sideways so that it's not too like blunt of a line. Okay, I need to like make them shorter and stop being a little bit about it that's like the worst look on me in the world why did i used to love side bangs i don't know no rag rats right guys why is there like a space in the middle did i do something wrong maybe i just need to style them let's do like one piece at a time there we go it's way easier well that was like way too short all right cool love that for me no ah i don't know man i don't know about this one for you <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. I hate this. Oh my god, you guys, I regret this. We're gonna do more because I feel like I didn't do enough. Okay, I agree. I think actually, I take it back. She needs to go just a little bit farther to the corner of her head. It is a little bit too like, you know, it's like covering half of her eye, her longer hair. So we gotta open those curtains, girl. It is daytime. I mean, I kind of like the choppy look. I know that's not everyone's taste. I kind of like that you can tell I did it at home, but that's not what I hate about it. I just hate like the way that um it looks on me. So it needs more pieces in the center because these are like going like why do I hate myself? I could have like not done this. Should I go? Mm -hmm. Don't take more hair to put in the center, babe. You got enough hair in the center. You just need to blow dry it and style it correctly. Pulling more down, it's not gonna help the situation. Your hair is literally parted to both sides. I mean, this is the length that I was going for. Like, it's not like I cut them too short or anything, but it just doesn't look on me the way that I thought it would, if that makes sense. The styling is key here. The styling is all off. And also, I think you should go shorter. Just a centimeter shorter. It's giving a little bit of like my 
micro grown out bangs when it should be giving micro bangs. It's so weird. Like this is exactly what I wanted. It just doesn't look as good on me as it does on others. Okay, literally all I have to do is push them aside and like my hair looks the same, so. Don't push them to the side. Okay, it's not the worst thing ever. So the more that I look at them, the less I actually hate them. I kind of lost my layers because I cut like the, the first layer I cut it. So I'm gonna redo some of my layers. Okay, see, what is this? Why does it split like that in the middle? <laughs> Maybe I just have to straighten them. I'm liking the look, but we need to style it correctly without the part in the middle. It's so distracting. I feel like it's kind of edgy and like a purposely ugly type of way. I'm just trying to give myself more volume like around my head because I don't know, I feel like I need it. I'm just like grabbing random pieces and making them like really short. Okay, so I styled it. I feel like the style itself, I really like. Um, I really like that it's more edgy and kind of like ugly pretty. As I said, I definitely don't mean that as a bad thing. I love ugly pretty. I just don't know if I pull it off. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about it. I definitely love and hate it at the same time. What? Whatever you just did in the blink of an eye, they look great. And you don't look ugly. You look incredibly beautiful. These bangs are your look. The way you style the rest of your hair, the way you scrunched it and did a little bit of wave and a little bit of texture, it all came together. You surprised me with that outcome. And I'm surprised you're not more excited because it looks great. Like really, really great. Next time don't scare me so much though. That was a little spooky. Up next we have a video by Area Middleman. Today I'm giving myself some micro bangs. Oh, I haven't burst my hair in a few days. I just have this claw thing and I'm going to pin up the hair in the back. Obviously I have bangs already, but they are getting longer even though I do trim them quite a bit. Those are some full ass bangs, baby. They go back far, but I like that. I want them to be probably up here when they're dry, but I don't want to cut too much off. That is short. I'm here for a look, you know? I, I, I want, I'm not here for a long time, but I'm here to have a good time. So show me what you got. Oh God. Okay, okay. Oh, ah. <laughs> Whoa, that's so short. She went for it on that first cut, didn't she? Ho, ho. Oh, do I like it or do I hate it? I'm gonna go with like, I don't know yet. I wish I could tell you there was a technique, but honestly, when I've cut my bangs in the past, there has never been a technique. I can tell actually, but that's okay. The other people didn't have a technique and, and somehow it came out fine, which seems to be a theme lately with these hair videos. How are you guys making it work? Oh my God. I guess I'll go at more of an angle here. I mean, you can definitely angle the micro bang down on the side, but that's like a completely different look. If you want like a classic micro bang, I would just go straight across. Would I look good with a micro bang? This is not about me, it's about her. Fuck me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, okay, um, I guess I'll do the other side now. I'm just gonna try to match the length, obviously. I don't really know if this is the look we're going for. Listen, the half long, half short is a vibe. Is it your vibe? I don't think so, but I do get it. I'm interested. Are we gonna leave it like that? Or are we doing, we're doing the whole thing, I hope. Stop putting the tension on the bangs. Don't pull them straight, okay? Just comb and cut, comb and cut. Don't yank on them, you know? Cause then they'll spring back up. The laws of physics, gravity, science, mathematics. I think that first cut that I made was so high. These are so short, but it's giving her kind of a sick look. I don't know if I hate it. I feel like it gives my face a different structure almost because you know, even before I got bangs, I didn't hate my forehead. I feel like sometimes people get bangs to cover up their large forehead when in reality, they are just in their heads about how big their head is. I'm done. Ah! Hello! Oh my god. Okay, guys, be honest, how do we feel about it? With my makeup done, I definitely feel more like myself. This is kind of a big change for me, even though I already did have bangs. I'm gonna be honest, they look straight as f How, how, how? And they look dope on you. It is such a cool new look for you. I'm so happy. I feel like it would have been so 
so much better if I had like took the plunge and dove into the deep end and just gave myself really short bangs from like having none, but whatever. So the rest of my hair is down to like the middle of my back. I didn't give it a trim or anything, even though it definitely needs one. My hair is red here, but my bangs, I dyed black. So I think now that they're this short, oh geez, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night, think it was a dream and then look in the mirror and be like, oh! I don't know, how do you guys like it? Would you try something like this at home? Would you even get bangs? Let alone get something like this short. I know this is probably not for everyone, but I'm really happy that I gave it a try. I don't know what she's talking about. They look perfect. Also, for all of you watching that have micro bangs or these people who cut their micro bangs, your best friend is going to be a little like beard edger. I'm not a barber, okay? Don't like this thing, okay? This edging thing cutter thing. When your bangs just get a little bit too long, style them into place. You can just go across. Boom. Done. So much easier than scissors and all that. It gets messy and crazy and that's my advice for today. But great job. Well, those bangs came out actually incredibly great and I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> you look stunning and so cool and you inspired me to want baby bangs. But I, I think I'm growing my bangs out. We'll see. Maybe not. I don't know. If you want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodelhair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.